सो डंडी जैमिंग एंड एबरडीन टर्मिनेशन दिस इज पॉपुलरली नोन एज एबर डीन स्नॉट एबर डीन स्नॉट एंड एबर डीन स्नॉट इज इंट्रा कॉर्पोरियल दैट इज मेड इन साइड द बॉडी इंट्रा कॉर्पोरियल नॉट which is not a slip knot now this is again a very important question the knots which are mentioned here the knots which are mentioned here they are they are basically they are basically uh, extra corporeal version of the laparoscopic slip knots here dandy jamming is actually dandy jamming and the complete name is aberdeen's termination aberdeen's termination so dandy jamming and aberdeen termination this is popularly known as aberdeen's knot aberdeen's knot and aberdeen's knot is intra corporeal that is made inside the body intra corporeal knot so apart from this these three knots these three knots are extra corporeal slip knots esck now let us talk about what is the concept of extra corporeal slip knots extra corporeal slip knots extra extra corporeal slip knot this is a very simple concept this is a type of a knot this is a type of a knot which is created outside the body and then it is glided or slipped into the body and the target is secured this is what is extra corporeal slip knot let us try to understand what are the types now before you understand an extra corporeal knot there are three parts this is what is known as the hitch this is what is known as the hitch and then we have the winds then we have the winds this is the winds and then we have the lock these are the three parts of this knot so let us take this x let us take this y and let us take this z so this x y and z have been defined to form a knot so extra corporeal slip knot they are basically we have a melzer's knot we have a melzer's knot we have a rodder's knot rodder's knot and then there are a lot of people who have made their own knots like i use my own version that i call it an sd's knot i use my own version this is 232 this is 1 2 1 when you come to my institute for laparoscopic training then i also teach these knots there are a lot of variations and when you learn this you'll understand that you can make your own knot very soon so what is a melzer's knot if you see a melzer's knot there are two winds then three loops and again two locks where is it useful this is useful for appendicectomy like if you don't have an appendicular loop then if you have a difficult gall bladder suppose you have a difficult gall bladder and now you want to tie surgeon's knot will not work here so what you have to do this is a very secure knot you will pass the suture down take it out and then make a knot and then slip it and secure it this is 100% safe remember surgeon's knot tend to leak but this will not the more you strain the more it get is gets locked rodder's knot if you talk about it is one then two loops and then one you can check my videos on youtube where i have performed make i have made these knots and shown how we make them and how we use them